Right, welcome to vlog two. Welcome to a very, very cold Stratford on Avon. I've still got my winter gear on. We're just about to set off. Me and Lou, who's the owner of the boat, she's, I'm teaching her today how to go through some locks. I'm not gonna film that, just for her dignity. Um, and also we've got to deal with a dog that might whine all the way. So the first few, we'll give it a miss, but I'll, I'll get some clips along the way. You know me. Right, here I am at the first lock. Lou's on her boat right now, keeping it steady, getting used to reverse and forward um, throttle. And I'm just letting in a tiny little bit of water. Everything was going really, really smoothly up until the second lock. So we've got to the second lock. Um, we're stuck. This gate won't quite open. And so Lou's first experience <laughs> of going through a lock is basically getting stuck in it. So I have to ring the Canal River Trust to see what they can do. So here we are. I've just called the Canal River Trust and no answer. So we've just got to wait for the local office to call us back. Um, it's not ideal, is it? But what can you do? You just got a lovely day, so it's getting slightly warmer. I'm just going to wait until someone gets back to us. So while we wait, just a quick little tour. Here is the bathroom, shower and toilet, porta potty. Here's the uh, whoop. here's the bedroom. So a double bed there. In there. And then you come through here, where Lou is making cheese on toast. Hiya! I'm trying to eat something while we wait for being rescued. Yeah. <laughs> right, we've succeeded in getting free at least, just had to reverse. Well, reverse whilst three big burly blokes open the gate. Well, two burly blokes this and me. This little contraption here is basically because that robe was widened. Um, so they had to put this on so that you could open the, the gate. But it's really not easy. So Canal and River Trust, please sort it out. That's all I'm saying. How you doing, Lou? say that we uh, came through this tunnel without any problems whatsoever um, but no unfortunately <laughs> however there's no proof so yeah <laughs> absolutely fine nailed it nailed it right so we've moored up and we've um explored the boat a bit more, um, found that we need a great list of stuff <laughs> to buy. So we've just come to um, the nearest, well, the nearest chandlery really. Yeah. It seemed to be part of a hire firm as well. And they're absolutely brilliant. Just talked to Gareth, the, Gareth, the um, BSS, examiner. BSS examiner. He knew exactly what engine you had yeah. and exactly what we needed to buy. Look, there's a lot of stuff that was taken by the yeah. last owners, weren't there? But yeah, they didn't leave me much on the boat. No. Really we've, friendly. We've, we've bought fenders, we've bought ropes off them. Lump so, hammer. And a lump hammer, <laughs> which we didn't have. They, didn't, they even gave us a 10% discount. So Avon Boating, they are ones for, for boat supplies. Yeah. So of course, to celebrate Lou's first day on the boat, we went to the pub of the week, which is the Stratford Ale House. Professional, professional interview time. So, Lou, how do you think it went today for you? Really well. Uh, I wasn't phased by anything. Not even me. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm still really excited and really positive about everything. So, yeah, I think I've learned a lot, but I probably won't remember it tomorrow. So, yeah, it's gone really well.